Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can do multiple conversions like from uh, medical imaging formats using 3D Slicer so I will show you how you can do conversion from an RRD to NFT, NFT to an RRD Dicom to NFT or like to an RRD or like vice versa also how to, how to convert NFT to STL so for example if you don't or if you are not familiar with coding and you want to do that using 3D Slicer I will show you how you can, you can do that so I have prepared here like some data set to be used in this tutorial I have a folder here containing DICOM files. I have one segmentation file that we can convert into STL. I have a volume nifty file and I have the same volume but an RRD file. And I will show you how you can do different conversions between these files. Okay, so let's start by the first one, which is converting from nifty to an RRD. So to do the conversion from nifty to an RRD or from an RRD to nifty, it is very easy. You can just open the file, like the volume or the segmentation file like here i will do it with the nifty so you just drag and drop it here select it as volume okay now it is open if you want to save it as nifty for example if this is an rrd file and you want to save it as nifty or if this is a nifty file and you want to save it as an rrd so what you need to do you need to come here to save and then you and check this part here which is just to save the history of what is happening in the scene so I all like all the time I uncheck it, but if you need it, you can leave it checked. But here, the most important thing, which is this one, which is the volume that we want to segment. So you need to check it and choose the format. So as you can see here, by default, it is nifty, not even nifty.gz. So if you want to convert it in, if it is an RRD, you want to convert it into nifty, you need to choose this one or compressed nifty, you need to choose this, this one. Or if it is a nifty and you want to save it as an RRD, then you need to go to an RRD. So you just need to select the format that you want, or you can directly write it here. For example, an II for nifty or uh, an RRD for the an RRD. So an RRD, okay. And it will be selected directly here. And you choose where you want to save it and click on save. So this is to convert from nifty to an RRD or from an RRD to nifty. Now I will show you how you can convert from nifty or an RRD into DICOM. So whenever you open the volume here, either an RRD or nifty or nifty.gz, you need to come here to the search button and click like from create DICOMs to create a DICOM series okay so you need to type only create and it will give you this uh, plugin and you need to click on yes create a di like create a DICOM series from the nifty file and then here you, we are already selecting the option so it is by default this one and then you need to select the volume which in this case we have only one volume which is volume 6 we have already selected it now we need to select where we want to save the uh, like the DICOM series so for example let's say they're in the desktop so let's say DICOM series okay and let's choose this folder and then you can choose what is the file, like the prefix of the file name. So for example, it would be image and then 00123 until the uh, last slice. But if you want to save it as like, for example, slices, so that for example, let's say slice zero, slice one, slice, etc. You can choose the prefix here, okay? And then you click on apply and the file, log, like all the uh, DICOMs will be saved. Okay, so this is how you can do the uh, the conversion from Nifty or an RRD to DICOM. Now, if you want to do the reverse, which is from DICOM to Nifty, what you need to do, let's just close everything. Go to the welcome to slicer here scene. All the time, you pref I prefer always starting from this scene because it is easy to choose anything you want, okay? So now let's do the conversion from DICOM to Nifty or from DICOM to an RRD. The first thing that we need to do, which is opening the DICOM files. So to open DICOM files, let's say add data or directly click here, data, and then you need to choose directory. So choose directly to add because since we have multiple DICOMs, so we need to choose the whole directly, not only one file. So let's choose the directory. And now we can choose this directly the same DICOM series that we selected, or we can go to the file that we have. So you just need to select a directory that contains DICOMs. So I will select this one and then click on OK. And yeah, now we have the DICOMs selected. Okay. So if you want now to like save them or convert them into Nifty or into an RRD, what you need to do is to come here to the same button that we used before, click on save 
and check this one check this uh, this file and then for example let's call it uh, I don't know volume test or something like this and then you need to select the uh, the extension like either an RRD or an II or an II.gz if you want so you just need to select what is the uh, format that you want so it can be nifty or an RRD and then you choose where you want to save it and then click on save and the file will be saved okay so this is how to convert from nifty or uh, sorry from dicom to nifty or an rrd now i will show you how you can convert a segmentation file from the nifty for example into the uh, it can be nifty or an rrd and we save it into stl which is a 3d mesh so for sometimes we most, like for most of the times we need this type of format which is stl for 3d printing or something so i will show you how you can do this conversion also using 3d slicer so if you are not familiar with code okay so let me open the file which is here liver so this is a liver segmentation file so let me put it here at the beginning we need to choose it as volume and then we choose it as segmentation we do the same thing we drag and drop but here we select it as segmentation okay so now okay now we have like the green uh, mask as you can see here which is the segmentation file so what you need to do you need to go here to segmentations okay now you have the file which is segment one which is the liver you can say change the name for example liver because this name will be the file name of your stl file so just to know the, for example this is the liver and now if you want to save it we need to export like new label map at the beginning because if we don't create a new label map we cannot save an stl file because like the stl file is not the same format of the nifty so it is like a 3D mesh starting from points and uh, triangles. So you need to create the, the like the label map. And then from the label map, you can save it as STL, not directly from the Nifty. So now here, since we don't have any label map created, we need to create one or export one. So let's click on export. And after that, you see that we have the file here, like the same file name and then label for the label map. And then we need to export the file. We come here, select where we want to save it. For example, let's save it always in the desktop. And I will delete it after just to make the process faster. Now let's click on STL. Let's choose the file format, which is STL, and then click on export. And the file will be exported here. If I open it now, I will select it as model let's see yeah sorry yeah this is our uh, segmentation file or this is stl file of the liver so yeah these are the most uh, used uh, types for the conversion so we have by the way if you are a medical imaging student or practitioner and you are looking for someone to help you to uh, create your deep learning models for medical imaging analysis and this sub applications also you can always contact us we do consulting for this uh, for the field and we can help you build your deep learning models and customized uh, architectures customize uh, this type of application for your purpose so don't hesitate to contact us at contact at pica.co and you can also see some of our works at pica.co slash portfolio have like nifty nrd nrd nifty dicom stl so i hope that this video was helpful and yeah i see you in next videos bye bye